My name's Tim Saggers and I farm this property with my wife Val and our extended family. And uh, our farm is 500 hectares and it's in the south coastal area of southwest Western Australia on the edge of the Stirling Range National Park. We've been farming this property since uh, 1974. Back then, before then, when I was a boy, the creeks were fresh. They were pretty well all fresh around here. There was salt water, but not much. Uh, but gradually, with land clearing, they uh, went salty, and a lot of the uh, associated environment just went to salt scorned and bare ground. The Salt Creek that runs through this property was a real challenge. It was severely affected by salinity and it was a sterile, bare environment. So we treated it as a real challenge to get it something to grow there for a start, to um, visually improve it, environmentally improve it, but also to get production out of it. And we looked at native plants because they are productive in that harsh environment. The main native plants we are using is the salt bushes. There's three or four varieties of native salt bush we're using. And the samphires, and they are really adapted to salt land. Also, we're looking at native grasses. We're growing acacias. Some of the acacias adapted well to salt land. And melaleucas. So we start with the pioneer plants like the samphires, which will grow right down where nothing else will grow. But we aim to increase the biomass. Other plants follow. It's, you're building up the carbon that's stored in the land. And that, that's what we're looking at. That's what we're trying to do. Increase the, the plants that are growing there, the plant mass, and consequently the productivity. With the pioneer plants, we thought samphire was the best, but we've subsequently discovered another species, it's a pig face, that grows really well in that salt land. What's the name of it? It's a dysphymia, um, and it's the most amazing, beautiful pig face plant that spreads very quickly. Very easy to propagate and spread, so each year we chop it all up and chop bits of the uh, samphire and it can just be spread around and it grows very easily. One of the compliments of growing native plants is that we've got a bit of a business going with seed collecting. The general method is to cut off the seed pods when they're mature. We take them to the tunnel, which is like a hothouse with a concrete floor, and we dry the seed out, sieve it out, and um, sell it to various merchants. Nowadays, when we look across the farm, it's very satisfying to see what's been accomplished. To have created a, a profitable farm that's sustainable and is integrated into the environment. That's what keeps us going. It keeps us going. <laughs>